Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of Game Art, a series all about creating visual effects and other visual imagery stuff for games. In this episode, we're going to look at creating a white flash effect that fills the whole entire screen and slowly dips to a fade out. Um, used for all sorts of special effects like flashbangs or grenades uh, or any other kind of knocks in the head or switches, whatever you want. So just to quick show you how that works, as well as show you how to use the animation line uh, timeline on the widgets. So we're going to create a widget which will flash up a white, simply white screen in front of the player. So I'm going to go right click, user interface and a new widget blueprint. And let's call it flash effect. Open up flash effect. And here you're going to have a canvas panel, which we're going to leave in because the canvas panel is by default going to fill the whole entire screen. So I'm going to leave it as is. And what I'm going to do is drag a border inside of my canvas panel. Click on the border, and on the right hand side you'll see anchors. Choose the fill screen anchor, and you want to then size it to fill the whole entire screen. Like so. Click compile, and that's it. And I might as well name it whilst I'm here. White. Okay, so I'm going to make this appear on the screen and then disappear. So I'm going to go to my graph over here. Uh, let's first of all just make it not animated first of all. Just do it simply as a uh, widget. So an event construct, once it's constructed, I'm going to put a delay in there for 0.2 seconds and then simply remove from parent. So after 0.2 of a second, this thing will disappear off the screen. So now let's show how to create it. So I'm going to go to my first person blueprint. And I'm simply making it work with the X key. So when I push X, I'm going to create widget. Flash effect. And I'm going to add to viewport. And only, uh, the owning player of the widget will be the get player controller. So this create flash widget will create this widget inside the game um, from the blueprint we just made. Assign it to the player controller and we're going to add it to the viewport starting to render it on the screen. Now once it's constructed, because it's been added to the viewport, after 0.2 a second, it will remove itself because we just made it do so in the graph. So after it's constructed, delay by 2.2 seconds and then remove it from the screen or the parent so hit play hit x and there's the flash so what about a little fade effect make it, make it a bit nicer so to make it a bit nicer with a fade effect uh, we're going to use the animation timeline on our flash effect widget so we're going to select uh, go open up your flash effect and on the bottom you're going to see animations on the left hand side choose a new animation and we're going to call it fade out select it and then we can add a new track to this so you want to start a new track because at the moment it's empty it doesn't have nothing in it so choose a new track and you want to choose your white uh, canvas uh, your white border you have so if you go to all named widgets you'll see either this white and canvas panel slot choose white Okay, that should be the border. Click on the add track, and now we can add a certain track for this white uh, screen. So here we're going to use the render opacity. So here is much like most animation tools. So we've got keyframes, which we can drag out to wherever we want. So let's say 0.2, and I set it to 1. And then I'm going to drag my timeline across over to say 0.5 hit another keyframe by hitting this little plus icon in the middle of these two arrows and I can change that to be equal to zero so the animation is like that so now we've got an animation in there we can change the way this is removed from the parent so if I go to my graph now instead of the event construct what I want to do instead is I want it to start this animation as soon as it starts uh, is constructed so go play animation 
and you drag out the variable that is made automatically for you by the animation choose it to play and you don't have to change nothing here because we're leaving it pretty basic and then right click down here go animation end oh, or finish sorry on, on animation finished is an event and when the animation is finished we want to check what animation has finished so I'm going to go equals and drag out your animation variable so if your animation is the one that has finished we can then remove from parent so as soon as it's created we're going to get the fade out animation and take it to play when it's finished animating it's going to check that the animation was the same as the fade out animation if it's true it will remove it from the parent click compile go to the game push play and there you get that nice sort of fade out at the end so imagine going for a teleporter like, teleport and that's it a very simple white flash effect Thank you for watching. If you have any other suggestions about what we could do for game art, please leave them in the comments below. Be fascinated to see what you guys want to see. Uh, other than that, if you want to support me, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. Support me just like these people have. A uh, big thank you to everyone who supported me so far. Couldn't be doing this without you. Uh, massive, massive props to you all. And uh, thank you very much, everyone. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.